Well, hello again, everybody. This is fun. This really is. Okay, so, for those of you who have been watching, we woke up without any memory in, like, a bathroom stall. And we're trying to figure out what's going on. So, let's look at this desk in the secretary's office. It's an everyday, run-of-the-mill desk. Okay. There is a drawer on the other side. Let's get in on that shit. Alright. Envelope one. What do we have? It looks like a standard legal sized envelope. Okay, let's open it. Open the envelope one. Bill. Okay. Let's check it out. Whoops. Okay. It's a bill from a Dr. Brody made out to Joe's Bar. Address 934 Sherman Street, Chicago. Sweet, we're in Shy. I actually knew that, but I'm from sort of near Shy, so it's exciting. Capsules, $10. Sodium pentothal, 55, I think that's a 6, 56 dollars? Sodium pentothal is a uh, truth serum, I believe. Medrezine, I don't know what that is. Diethanol, trimine. I don't know what that is. Okay. It sounds familiar, but you can't be sure. Okay, sweet, now we have an address added to our... Uh, address book. So if we ever get to this bar, we can go there. Take the bill. Alright. I don't think there's anything else of interest in here. Um, it's a typewriter. For those who are literate, it's a handy tool. I'm sure it is. Alright, let's go into the next room. Door won't open. It must be locked. Well... It's a pretty good bet that that's an office, and we just so happen to have a key marked office somewhere. There we go. Use key one. What would you like to use this on? The door. Click. Score. Let's go. Well, that was unexpected. You're in an office. A dead body is slumped over the desk. His left hand grips the phone receiver. There appears to be something in his pocket. How can we possibly see that there's something in his pocket? It's a man who appears to be lacking something. Namely, life. <laughs> there are three bullet holes in him. Hey, our gun has three bullets in it. It's a revolver, so those would be the other three. He suggests a memory. You feel as though you should be able to recall who he is. Probably because we shot him. It's probably Joe, who owns Joe's bar. Alright, another key. Let's check it out. He has the Mercedes-Benz trademark on it. Score. Let's take that shit. Take the key too. Alright. Okay, what else is going on? What is this? It's a wolf safe. With a combination lock. Alright, I wish we had a combination for it. These are supposed to be blinds, I think. Open the window. Alright, let's go out the window. You're on a fire escape. When there's a fire, you use it to escape. That's true, I can't really question the logic there. Okay, let's go up here. What? Yes, I can. Move forward. There we go. You're standing 
on the third floor fire escape. You have a breathtaking view of the alley below. I think that's supposed to be sarcasm. Here's another window. Party. Open the window. I'm sitting outside and there's some creepy squeaking noise coming from another alley. And I don't like mice, so I'm actually a little bit freaked right now. But that's okay. What kind of room is this? It looks weird. Oh, it looks like a torture room. I mean, admittedly that's weird, but... I mean... Anyway. It looks like an unusual chair. It has restraints for the arms and head. Why not the legs? Perhaps it's a dentist's chair. Yes, perhaps. Looks a lot like a dentist's chair, doesn't it? It's an empty medicine vial. Sorry. Sodium pentothal is written on the label. What has it been used for? Well, like I say, I think it's a truth serum or something like that. Okay. The medicine vial's label says medrazine. Med, 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 medrazine? I really don't know what that one is. Um, that one's not empty. Let's take it. <coughs> take the medic two. It's good that they don't label things in the inventory. Take the empty medicine. The, the empty medicine vial says diethanol trimine. I'm gonna look up what that is after this this video. It sounds familiar, but you can't remember why. Trash can? It's a wastebasket. Is there anything in it? Open the wastebasket. Capsules. Score. Doctors put medicine in these for patients to take. Or they used to before the whole... Tylenol scandal in the 80s with those people who got poisoned. Anyway, I don't know why I know these things. You take the capsules thinking they will come in handy later. Alright, let's uh, get out of here by using this elevator. Whoosh! The elevator doors slide open. Smooth as butter. Oh, that wasn't in there. That's fine. The door is open. So this is looking like it's going to take a lot of videos. Mainly just because it takes 20 minutes like to move. But that's cool, because I'm really liking this. You're inside the elevator. Where do you want to go? I want to go somewhere else. Like here. When the button is pressed. The elevator starts moving. That's good. That's what's supposed to happen. Within moments, the elevator stops. And the door opens. Cool. Let's go. The door's... Oh, I meant move. Sorry. Whoa! There's a dead body lying inside the office. As you leave the elevator to enter the room, the wall slides shut behind you, sealing off the elevator. Obviously, this elevator is used as a secret means to get in and out of this office. Alright, kids. Well, that is the sound of the YouTube 10 minute limit approaching. So, till next time, I am Stefan Scott. Cheers.